Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about clingy co-workers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I have a question. I am a junior web developer. I've been working for nine months, but the place where I work recently hired a new guy that seems to have no idea about the language or the framework we use. He keeps asking a lot of questions that are right in the docs or easy to find on Google, but it seems to me that he doesn't make an F any effort to find the solution on his own before asking me, and I'm kind of tired of that. So the question in question is, I like what you did there, how do I teach him to solve problems by himself without being rude? Well, ideally, you talk to him in a very, very humble and genuine way and you explain that, dude, I feel like you're intruding a little bit on my time I need to because that's something you can always you can always claim this thing uh, it's a powerful weapon so be careful with it but you can always use time restraints whenever you work ever you can pr pretty much ev always throw in I'm very sorry I, uh, I want to help you but I really need to prioritize this thing and uh, thing now and I can I, can, I really, really need to have a look at this thing or I need to do my own work right now and so forth and that is always going to be an acceptable answer pretty much unless they like go to your boss and you're getting you get forced to help them instead of doing your own work and uh, this is dangerous, remember, because it can lead to a lot of it can lead to isolation and it can lead to bad team spirits and so forth. But uh, I'll give you a dirty little secret uh, of IT that you can't tell anybody about, and that is that most of the industry and most of the perception of how you should work as a software software developer, a lot of the talk and ideal the idealism around this profession is we're all friends we're all helping each other out we're all collaborating and these are very good things but usually the way we work is fairly isolated and in many cases many companies expect us to spend quite some time alone it's not that many companies who even wants to see or thinks that it's a positive thing to see two developers spend too much time talking to each other as opposed to just keeping their nose to the grindstone. This is a, it's a, it's a misconception in many ways that collaboration is a bad thing and I'm not saying that people think that collaboration is a bad thing it's just that you can very often get away with just working by yourself and it's completely okay for you to sit by yourself in many cases. It's very rare, as I said, that you're gonna be held held accountable for doing your job or focusing on the story that you're working on. It's usually the manager is going to step in and say that, well, I see that we're working too much in isolation, etc., etc. It's not that often that the developers themselves uh, do this, apart from, of course, the developers really care about collaboration and so forth. But uh, quite a lot of developers, like they just wanna work by themselves and keep to themselves so you can you can use this as well but as I said be careful with it because if you do this too much you will get a whole you can potentially get all those problems that most of the modern practices about collaboration and pair programming and so forth are trying to resolve and if you get into that space you have no idea how toxic your work environment can get especially when you're dealing with someone who might get really sensitive over the fact that uh, you don't want to help them so what I said, but what I really suggest that you do is to just talk to this individual and explain that there are I, that you either don't have time to sit with him all this uh, all that much. You can also just direct him to the documentation. Like you can give. I like to say that uh, this is a technique I use myself with my my juniors, where I have juniors of different skill levels who come to me and they want to have answers to questions and depending on how well I know them or how big the problem is I can give them a part of the answer 
and it's still the answer. So, and you can always pretend, pretend that you're dumb if you want to help this person out within reason without like crippling yourself over this whole thing. So an example would be they ask you about something very specific. Oh, uh, you know, the, well, the rude thing is to send, let me Google that for you and let them just kind of deal with it. That's not what I'm saying that you should do, but you can like literally just Google the thing if it's really that simple and see a stack overflow question and post it to them. I think this will help you. Some people might think it's not, it doesn't have to be passive aggressive. I just, you can just say, oh, I found this useful article and that's your whole deal. It should take you less than five seconds to do that. And if you do that enough, hopefully they will start getting the hint or actually start thinking by themselves, etc., etc. You can also link to documentation. You don't have to always go like all in. As I said, you can pick how much of the answer you give. You don't have to sit down with them and like show them yourself how to do something. You can just say that you you're a little bit hazy on the details. You're not sure how this works, and then just direct them to something. I mean, shit, you can leave them there. You can just say that you don't know. Play dumb if you want to. That's not super nice, but you can. Or you play semi-dumb and you say, I'm a little bit hazy on the details, but I think this resource is going to help you. I find that this is very, it's a very simple way to uh, to deal with figuring out like how much energy do I want to invest in this person. It's also helpful for them in many cases. If you're really out to help them you really need to get to know them and know like when you should give them the full answer and just help them immediately to get them uh, get them to the next step or and when you should give them part of the answer but in your case you seem to have already reached the fatigue stage and then now it's just about energy and damage control and you can decide yourself how much you actually want to invest in this person so what i want you to take away from this is that if you're dealing with a person who's asking you consistently for help all the time and doesn't feel it doesn't feel to you as they're investing any energy into actually learning themselves you can ideally just use time constraints to avoid this issue you can of course report them to your manager as well be careful as I've, as I said this is a dangerous situation if you play it poorly it can then blow up in your face but time restraints is usually a good thing because the IT industry is very much an isolate like developers are usually very isolated we work many 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 hours every single day without talking to anybody if we and some people do it as a rule because they don't want to so it's socially acceptable for you to just focus on your work and it's very rare that somebody's going to stop you from doing that but if you do want to help this person out without being too rude about it, try to give them a partial answer. Just refer send them to the place where they can find the answer and say that you're unsure about the details or like play a little bit dumb, etc., etc. And just get them to a point where they're actually f they're actually understanding that it's not so quick to get an answer from you anymore. It's actually quick. It's actually uh, they usually end up better off by doing it themselves. Some people want your attention because they feel unsure and scared of themselves, and then that I can uh, give you some good news. That usually goes away at some point. The nervousness of being new and like not knowing anything and like being overwhelmed all the time usually lets off after a little while, so they will be less dependent on you. But in some cases, you do have to be their teddy bear for a little while. Have a great day.